Hi everyone, we're here at the New York Hall of Science and today we're going to learn about Newton's laws of motion. But first of all, Shivani, you're holding a giant rocket. I'm going to launch it. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. What happens? That used Newton's first law of motion. Do you know what Newton's first law of motion is, Jake? Newton's first law of motion is an object at rest will stay at rest unless acted upon by force. Right, so when I push this, can I see your hands for a little bit? Oh yeah, you can feel the air coming out. Right, so this air pushed that rocket out. So now we're going to use Newton's third law of motion. With All right. every action, there's an opposite equal reaction. Let's see this reaction. Okay, so we're going to spray some breath spray into this film canister. Okay. And I need you to give me a countdown, okay? Starting from, from three. Starting from three, ready? Three. Two, one. Oh my gosh. What was that? So when I press this button, it sent a spark. Do you see the spark? I can see the spark. Yeah. All right, awesome. So I sprayed breath spray into the film canister and this is actually combust combustible okay. because it has alcohol in it, right? So alcohol right. is combustible. And the alcohol reacted with this spark and it caused a fire. And a fire is a chemical reaction. And with every chemical reaction, there's byproducts left behind. In this case, it was carbon dioxide. So this is where Newton's third law comes into play. The carbon dioxide pushed down onto the sand and the opposite equal reaction of it pushing down this way with the film canister going that way. So let me see if I got this right. You sprayed alcohol into the film canister and you lit it on fire. Yes. And the byproduct of the fire was carbon dioxide gas and the carbon dioxide gas pushed the film canister off. Well, there you go. So if you'd like to learn more about Newton's laws of motion, you can check out the rocket activity here at the New York Hall of Science all the way through spring and summer.